Why can you touch that? Why is that a... Okay. Whee! Ah, this is Sean Lamp, huh? Yep. Why is all this interactive? That is a good question. To bond or not to bond? Oh no. Oh, it's a froggy. With hooves. Are you sure? Oh, so these creatures aren't just human pig. They could also be. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Something to read. <sighs> Maintenance access. There is clearly another passage beyond the block or beyond the locked gates. It seems I have a choice of approach. The padlock is old but firm, and after that fall, I cannot summon the strength to break it open. Perhaps I can find another way. So basically, it's just telling you. Turn around. We can't go that way, unless you can find something that can destroy the lock. Um, what's on that table over there? What table? This table? No, nah, the. Oh what? Yeah, that one. Oh, it's just a beaker. Okay. I have such a bad feeling about this lamp. Imagine you have to shine it at one of the monsters. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. That's like the way my brain works, is all the possible outcomes of everything and trying to figure out the best solutions to it. So it's like, oh, well, it said that it reacts to this. So if it chases me, then all I have to do is shine that in its face for a minute. Like that'll actually work. This centrifuge. It's some form of bizarre mixing device for chemical compounds, and it positively reeks of the foul fluids I have seen too often before. It is clearly a compound, some volatile bastard of two composite ingredients. I should wager I would find them close by. Oh god. So you're gonna make that compound. Maybe that's what you have to use to, uh, get the lock off the door. Hmm. Oh, this will be fun. Did you hear that? It sounded like a bell. Or some sort of clanking of metal, yes. Oh, the holding pens. Who ran this and where are they? Like... Really? I have a feeling like his experiment possibly went horribly wrong and he's the one that's calling to have somebody send after him. I don't like this door. Low temperature storage. ran into the freezer like looking thing.
Or it was just a figment of our imagination. Hey, that's cool too. A warning. Inflamed it is. Burning it does. Bleeding from each hole. Fore and aft, leaking down my legs. Blood and excrement. My lungs are in my vomit. <sighs> what the hell even is... Okay. From the top. <laughs> so, inflamed it is, burning it does. Bleeding from each hole, fore and aft. Leaking down my legs. Blood and excrement. My lungs are in my vomit. I pass clots of my organs now onto the filthy stone. Drink this, he says. And I did drink it. I did do that. Because of the changes, they ripple in me. My teeth sneeze out and scatter like mice in the dark. I cannot find them all. Gathered what I can. Push them back into my gray gums with my fingers, but the nails are all weepy and falling out. Drink it, he says. It'll help the running of the fever, because not all, not us all can take the change. On the other table, a beast under a blanket. I never wanted to see under that, but he drank it too. He passed it under the blanket, and I heard it drink. Dear God Almighty, how can a man shit so much blood and still live? I'm trying to imagine a scenario where somebody could legitimately convince another person that this was a good idea. Especially if he saw the dude under the fucking blanket and knew what this was gonna do to him. What was this fever that he was having? This, this change that they were like, yeah, we're gonna just drink this thing that's gonna make us shit all the organs out and that's just so grody. Gave you a fuse. I think. So I have to figure out where that's going. Oh, I think I went back to the machine. I feel like I'm not where I started. Doesn't it? Does this look right? No, it doesn't. Not at all. I could have sworn it came out of like... I think you did. No? Wait. I could have sworn it came out of like... Fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. To stumps. 
to stumps. Next time we will use an equal mix of infusion vita and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You can dump him in the river for all I care. Okay. So some of them, apparently their bodies couldn't handle the transformation of whatever the fuck they were putting in them. Yeah? Now you're locked? Alright, cool. I'm surprised well, we got away from that thing. We went down that way and somehow wound up over there. I mean, this whole place looks like a freaking maze. It's it's right there, dude. It's turn around. Well, no, no, I see, oh, okay. I, see I see that. Oh, okay. There's just three things go in here. Well, it said you only need two mixtures of the compound. I'm assuming that the third one comes out. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to investigate that site again. I'm very curious of how the fuck that just happened. I have absolutely no idea. Okay, yeah, see, this makes sense. Right, because that's what happened. Uh huh. But then when you came out, it wasn't like that. Yeah, it was on the other side. And the door was over here. Hmm. I don't know. Silence, do not startle or upset the acquisitions. Take it slowly. Why does it have to do this? took delivery of another batch of imbeciles today. They are, the they are the sturdiest specimens of humanity I have ever seen. 
No one asks where they go to. The authorities of Bedlam are simply happy to reduce the overcrowding in their teeming, stinking halls. We measure their skulls, check their teeth. We give them laudanum to pacify them. They wait in line. Livestock. Dull brown eyes and filthy skin. Many soil themselves as they wait. <laughs> wow. Into the manipulator, they file in silence. I hear the hissing of gas. I hear the dull groaning as teeth are removed, as bones are reset. I hear the pigs screaming. We have removed all the mirrors after the, pro er, yeah, after the process. It is their reflections that trouble them the most. Afterwards, when they sleep, I walk, so I walk amongst them. My children, I whisper to their dreams. You are my children now. I have children once again, and your forms imperfect will be the engines to make my own blood flow again. Weird. Hmm. That's... Hmm. No. Oh. Over there. Place it in the corner. What? You think I speak Prussian? Do I look like an inbred hog, sir? Who gives a damn what it contains? Just set it down carefully and leave me be! Awesome. Oh, that's cool. It literally blew the door open. Go, 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 what? No. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Sorry if you guys can't see very much right now. Oh, door that doesn't open. Pretty accurate. Yeah, like he's down here with me, almost. I think that's about time to call an episode. Um, yep. Well, that was terrifying. I uh, successfully dodged a couple pigs on the way down to that to that area <laughs> with um the Bernie bits um <laughs> the Bernie <laughs> my mind scrambled right now um it's there was that there, I was running away from that one pig and I didn't ever even saw it I just heard it it was like chasing after me and I was able to shut the door somehow mm -hmm. that was I surprised myself there and then there was the one that that you just saw the aspirated it's like some it's aspirated. hard it's hard to tell Aper like disapparated disapparated yeah. god damn i can't even think right now <laughs> it's okay <laughs> yeah no it's um it's kind of hard to tell like what monsters are actually going to do something to you in this in this game in this version of it 
versus which ones are just there to legitimately just scare the crap out of you. Um, apparently, literally. Oh, some people, but, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I still haven't figured out exactly what the hell's going on here. Like, I as far as we can gather, like, they've, they're have they pretty much descendants of Alexander or whomever, and they're doing some sort of experiments on these people and pigs, and... I don't even know if it's actual people. There, well, no, it has to be people because we've gotten like we've received notes from people that like write these things. Like, they're gonna pull me down into the into the depths, and then the one where the guys like can feel his teeth coming out and everything. And that was that was a creepy read. I'm sorry. That was <sighs> that's intense. No. This one this one is a lot creepier than the first one, guys. All right. Well, I'm doing my best. Uh, thank you for. Hanging with me thus far. Um, as always, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel comfortable with, um, and we'll see you on the next one. Until next time. <laughs>